Welcome back to The Exchange. The muni market is supposed to be a pretty sleepy place, but instead it's had a pretty terrible start to the year. The MUB ETF, which tracks the S&P muni bond index, sliding about 8% through the end of June. The first quarter saw the worst quarterly returns in 40 years, prompting more than $75 billion of outflows from the space, according to Morningstar. But my next guest says the worst might be over. Joining us now is Nisha Patel. She's managing director of SMA Portfolio Management at Parametric. Nisha, it's good to see you again. And what are clients doing? Doing. Yeah, so look, I, I think the bad news is and the painful part for investors is, is obviously the huge surge in yields and negative returns, as you mentioned, the worst start for fixed income, for many fixed income markets and particularly for munis. And because munis are primarily owned by individuals, uh, when you do see a significant upward move in yields, uh, you do see panic and you see kind of forced selling where munis have underperformed, uh, let's say, other asset classes, even when, when rates are stabilized. So what that creates is an incredible opportunity uh, for investors to now invest at high tax-free yields, right? So in the short end of the curve, incredible amount of tax-free yield that clients are able to capture as well in the long end. And this is something that we haven't seen uh, since kind of 2009 and 2010. So the good news is, is that so far this month, uh, the broad kind of Bloomberg Muni Index is showing uh, posting positive returns of almost 2%. Yeah. And again, that's telling um, of some of those outflows certainly abating and, and more interest kind of coming in as investors are seeing value here. I mean, and it is weird to have the Muni bonds kind of trading it um, in parity or in line with Treasury bonds, right? Because you'd think, okay, well, if they're both going to offer the same yield, I'll take the one with the better tax advantages. So it's, it seemed like that moment told us that, okay, maybe now this asset class has gotten too cheap. I don't know. Yes, and, that, and that's exactly right. And the main thing here also to point out, uh, unlike possibly other sell-off periods, you could not have a stronger uh, credit story, right, from a fundamental standpoint. So this was not by any means credit-related, purely had to do with, with kind of the, the significant rate move uh, that fixed income markets have seen. So credit fundamentals still look extremely strong, uh, and we would even say stronger than, you know, municipalities went into kind of the 2008 uh, time frame. So if we do see weaker growth, if we do uh, kind of see a recessionary downturn here, we think credit fundamentals are very strong. And so today, um, you know, valuations, uh, again, in the 10 to 20 year part of the curve, I think are, are optimal. And again, because rising rates were a worry for quite some time, investors typically and retail investors have shied away from the longer end. So when you take a look at valuations today, uh, on a tax equivalent yield basis, investors can lock in north of 6% wow. in the 15 to 20 year part of the curve. Um, so certainly, you know, a great opportunity, we think, to leg in here in this market. Yeah, and so we look at, you know, like you said, the fundamentals being strong. Obviously, a lot of states uh, are dealing with excess stimulus funds and things like that right now. But what about if we're heading into a bigger economic slowdown? Yeah, so I, I think when you when you look at uh, particularly an in investment grade munis on high yield munis uh, as well, obviously you're going to see kind of that that repercussion of a slowdown weaker growth period first start to show there. But even in the high yield space, given that today's kind of baseline of defaults is still very low, um, again, credit fundamentals still even in the high yield space have fairly, are fairly strong, um, we don't see the default rate ticking up significantly. And for, again, municipal credits, and in, especially across states and cities, almost $2 trillion of aid have, have gone out to municipalities, right, over the past two years as part of federal stimulus uh, kind of plans. So, you know, state revenues have come in far higher than expected. Many cities and, and uh, states are sitting on surpluses. So, again, I think they're much better positioned today uh, than they have before. Now, that's not to say, you know, credit monitoring uh, isn't going to be important. I think right. professional management, you know, in municipal bond portfolios uh, is going to be very uh, important. And one last thing to add, you know, our clients, uh, you had asked earlier, what are they taking advantage of? Uh, at Parametric in our municipal portfolios, we are taxless harvesting. Right, so kind of uh, making lemon, lemonade sure. out of lemons, if you will. Um, and that's been an incredible opportunity that, that you know we're able to do throughout the year, and we're not waiting just for the end of the year to kind of take those losses. No, that's a great point. Nisha, thank you. Appreciate the update. Thank you. Nisha Patel with Parametric. Still ahead, this ETF climbing about 12% over the past three months. Is that a good harbinger into earnings or a sign expectations are too high? It's next on The Exchange. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. The New Deal created American infrastructure that unleashed new opportunity. 
Today, we're doing it again with massive investment in modernizing our infrastructure to build for tomorrow. At Build America Mutual, we protect your municipal bond investments that help make it happen. Building a vibrant future for our communities and your portfolio. Invest in the future of America with BAM-insured bonds.